Well, hello there. Welcome to another episode of the Four O'Clock Game. And, uh, well, it's been a long while ever since. Before we start any further, well, we found a new wallpaper, thanks to the one I made. And, uh, yeah, well, it's been a couple of months now since I have not done this episode before. And uh, I hope you all enjoy that, and thank you for joining us. And thank you for all you subscribers and all the users for joining us here. For if you're watching, thank you for joining us. And um, I know a lot of you people have been busy for the last couple of months now. And last, since the last time I've been doing this. So we're going to be doing this right from now on, right into the 4 o'clock game. And just to resume this, I finally got the new logo and, of course, the new, uh, a new, a, yeah, a new wallpaper that I just made. And uh, courtesy of Go Animate, and uh, what you what, what you see here has Shirley Temple, yours truly, and Bo Jangles, a new character who has friends with Shirley Temple. You know, you know, remember that remember that movie, the the Little Colonel, where Shirley Temple tap dance with Bo, Mr. Bo Jangles or Bill Robinson, whatever. If you want to see a clip, go right ahead to watch it. So enough already. Let's get into business, shall we? Today's game I'm going to be playing, we will present to you, is none other than... Well, you can say it with me, fellas, if you want to. This is Gunsmoke. No, not the television program or a radio show or something. Well, this game was released in 1988 for the NES, and this game was presented by none other than Capcom. Yep, Capcom is the name of the company that made the, the makers of Section Z, the Mega Man games, Street Fighter series, and uh, so many great, great games, as well as the Resident Evil franchise. And uh, it says here on the box, it says, state-of-the-art high-resolution graphics, game pack by Capcom. And I think this came out in 88, but perhaps this was one of the last of the the titles that have the grid design, the background, with those little grids. That has the Capcom name on there. I think a lot of the earlier games that came out, like Ghost of Goblins 1942, and uh, so many games that had uh, the, like, Section Z, Commando, Trojan, and a couple other ones have the, the grid background. But this was one of the last ones to have a grid background. And there were two different copies, there were two different versions of this game, which is on the front. The first version, by the way, has the, I don't know, but if you watch James and Mike Mondays, he knows all the difference between the two different versions of Gunsmoke. There were two different versions of the game. The first game has the, one of the most controversial, shocking cover of this. Yeah, it has, a, it has an alternate cover with the, with the, the Western guys, that was all the background and all that stuff. Yeah, there's one that says bar on there. There's a second cover that has the bar on there, but I don't know. I'm a little confused with two different copies of the game Gunsmoke. It has a similar artwork. It has a different artwork, to be exact. It's two different versions of the game. If you have seen it, let me know. Uh, I just want to point, if you have any suggestions, please let me know if you have seen this, this cover. It says one megabyte memory. Okay, I just... Uh, <laughs> All right, I just come on with it. Okay, I gotta get this done, and uh, let's uh, let me see about this game Gunsmoke. Uh, this has nothing to do with the television program of the same name, and um, I think yeah, Gunsmoke. It's actually it has nothing to do with the the classic Western TV show of the same name, and. Uh, I think there's no, that has anything anything to do with Gunsmoke, uh, the, the television program. If you have not seen Gunsmoke, uh, if you watch the show, I know, you should go watch it and see what, you, what it looks like. Okay, enough said. Let's take a look back and see what the description is. 
Oh, I have to can read here. Oh, let me let me zoom this in. There's the back of the game. Capcom. Premier Worldwide Arcade this is Game Designer, 1987. And uh, let's take a look at this. Gunsmoke by Capcom takes you back to the days of the gold rush. To a small, bustling mining town of the old west. Ruthless gold. Oh, I can't read the name. Stolen bandits. Yeah, ruthless gold stolen bandits are terrorizing the townsfolk, and it's up to you to stop them. The thieves of notorious colors, when they challenge to draw, they're playing for keeps. Although your gunslinging prowess is legendary, this may be the toughest high noon you'll ever face, but you've got to stand your ground. This town ain't big enough for you and them. And yep, the graphics you see in the bottom these are gameplay footage from the actual game. Are you ready to climb in the saddle and accept the Captain Commando challenge? Well, yeah, well, yep. Yeah, I can. So, you can see there's the copyright, there's a distributed by Capcom, Sunnyvale, California. That's the same city as Atari's. Yeah, headquarters, that's in Sunnyvale, California. That's where the Atari headquarters were. It's right next to that, the Capcom or whatever that is. So, um, let's get this game on the road, shall we? Okay, for those of you who are not wondering, let's, uh, let's start the game. Yeah, time to play the game. Let's reset this game and try again. And here's your startup screen. And you'll have to stay for a few seconds. In America. The year was 1849 in a small town called Hicksville, where the pioneers worked hard during the Gold Rush era. One day, a group of outlaws known as the Wingates came into town, killed by the sheriff, and took over the town. The Wingates raided the town every day and terrified the people in Hicksville. Then came a lone gunman in a windy afternoon with a sunset behind him to save the town, to save the people of Hicksville from the Wingates. And here's your demo. Oh, uh, let's kill the demo. Let's start this game and see what it does. The town of Hicksville. Bandit Bill. Rifle, one thousand dollar. Wow. This game will start you off with, uh, well, decent gameplay. We started off with a little bit of a gameplay here. Well, you have to start things off with it. Now, now he's in visibility right now. It's getting a little tough right now. Oh, you have to get a shotgun. Alright. Let me see. If you get a maximum gun, you get a shotgun. Or if you get a machine gun, you get that. You get a smart bomb. Yeah. We are on your side. And then, yeah, if we gonna do is fire up. Oh no. Well, you have to wait here and see what it does. Okay, I just... Okay! Oh, yeah, I just want to pause this a little bit.
Wow, you have to get on the horse, baby. Come on, you get on the horse, baby. Come on, you just get it on the horse. All right, let's talk about gun smoke here for a moment. Uh, I know there's this has nothing to do with me. Speaking of gun smoke, there was a radio show based on the, 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 the name gun smoke. You remember William Conrad as Matt Dillon? Yeah, I, I do. I just want to say it. Yeah, if you remember Matt Dillon, played by William Conrad. Oh yeah, that was a that was a radio show. But yeah, back in the day, you know, back in 1951-52, you remember Gunsmoke on the radio. And there is also a television version featuring James Arnaz as uh, Matt Dillon. Yeah, there was a television version of Gunsmoke that was actually the TV version of the radio classic. Yeah, it featured, uh, you know, James Arnaz as, uh, Matt Dillon. Yeah, so the show's been on, it's the longest running western show since, uh, probably the, starting in the mid-50s and right up until the 1970s. And yes, you can see there's that pinwheel thing. Yeah! That was, like, the same thing they used it for the, well, Ghosts and Goblins did that, 1942 did that, Trojan did it. Yeah, these was used for that little item picked up items that was used in a lot of Capcom games, you know, Mega Man, uh, many other games, <laughs> yeah, many other Capcom games have these items. Legendary Wings was the one game that did not include, the. Uh, yeah, you know, hit the turbo button and it's just, yeah, it slacks the turbo button. Yeah, I just want to do is shoot, you know, shoot, 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 shoot. Everything you have in these, these takes longer than the Akari. Yeah, it's better than a, similar to the Akari Warriors game. I had high hopes when they made this game. Let me tell you, pretty much it's a great port of an arcade game, but yeah, the, the game's a little bit different than uh, the other ones do because it's completely different, kind of like Section Z. Yeah, but originally I have never played the arcade version of, of, uh, of Gunsmoke. And you should get uh, a machine gun. Yeah, you gotta get off the horse. When you buy them, you gotta get off the horse. Do I need a horse? No! You hit the select button to go back. Yeah, I know I have to do is press this button. Wow, you have to keep firing, shoot him. Wow, you have to do is keep firing, shoot him, and uh, whatever you can. Well, you gotta do is this is the first boss in the game. Wow, we finally made it the first one. Well, we just cleared up the stage and uh one thousand dollars, that's a uh what is this ten thousand dollars, I get a game show. The Bowlers. 
This next boss is Cutter Boomerang. Twelve thousand dollars. Yeah, it's best if used with the turbo buttons. I know if you do, I, I have a controller that, is, that lacks turbo, but I just want to do using button mashing. It is a kind of a button mash. If you go too far, you, you get killed. Yeah, if you get stuck in there, you die. This is a problem when you when you get stuck on there, when you, when you get too squished, you're dead. This is like they did in Section Z. This is like a... Pretty much, it's a, it's a shoot 'em up game. This is like a okay. I got it. And smart bomb is actually. Okay, you need to just do shoot them down. He's just getting extra lives. Now you have to just, just keep shooting, keep shooting. Yeah, if you're looking for the wanted thing, I, I don't know. You'll come back later for that. We'll just have to keep firing. Oh yes. Hey, remember that? Yeah, remember that the show. You know, let's talk about Gunsmoke for a second, if you have recognized this. I know there's a show called Gunsmoke. They need to do the television program. Yeah, there's a radio show. I, I just mentioned earlier. It was a radio show uh, with William Conrad. You know, William Conrad, who was later started in Canon. Remember that show, Canon? Oh, that was from the '70s. You know. Of course, you know, the, the same people who brought Barney B. Jones. You know, William Conrad is the, uh, yeah, Cannon. That was, that was a pretty weird show. That's a great show. It's a detective named Cannon. That's... Yeah, Quinn Martin! Oh, yeah, Quinn Martin. That's like an old, yeah, the, the, the creator of the show. The like, same guy did Barney B. Jones. It's one of these detective shows in the 70s. And, uh, James Arnaz as Matt Dillon. That was great because, um... And yes, remember that, that opening spiel? Around Dodge City in the territory of Young West, there is one thing you can have with the spoilers, and that's where the U.S. Marshal and the smell of guns... Ha! <laughs> that, the, that was the opening spiel from the old radio show, the radio version of Gunsmoke. You know, if you remember, Half Gun Will Travel. Remember Half Gun Will Travel? you had to do is just buy stuff like this. You would just have to come back a little later on. Oh, now you get some old things. Go defeat it with the wing gates. Yep, there's the wanted.
Yeah, I always love Western theme. You know, remember Gene Autry? Remember, uh, Roy Rogers? You know, those movies, the old movies? The Happy Trails? Yeah. There's no Happy Trails. Panko's Bill! You know, Panko's Bill? Huh! That's fun. Now, I think this is a very nice game. This is the first time I played Gunsmoke. Oh, you now you have to do is fight these villains here. Oh, yeah. Do the boomerang. Have that Frankie Valley tune? <laughs> oh. Take it easy. Whoa! He got him. 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 12,000. Comanche Village. Is that little tomahawk Indian? Devil hawk. Fireball. What if I bow? Yeah! Come on, let's shoot some Indians! Come on, let's shoot them down! All these Indians are Pocahontas! Pocahontas! The Powhatans! G.I. Joes! No. No soldiers. Whoa. Whatever you do. Uh, sorry. No, thank you. We don't need that. We already got the guns. We can't have guns in here. Well, this is, this is fun. You know what? Let me tell you something. You know, Capcom did a great job with this game. I own silver, said the Lone Ranger. Yep, there's, there's silver the horse from the Lone Ranger. Alright, this is the game. This is Gunsmoke. This is not the Lone Ranger. I know this character is Tonto. That's the Indian. You know, the Masked Man. Yeah, 
can only use a magnum gun. What I'll just have to do is keep them going. Yeah, this thing, yeah, this little skull and crossbone thing, you know, those little things. Yeah, it took the money away. Whoa! Just be careful. Keep shooting until you mean it. Next, we gotta shoot this thing. Oh, I'll just keep flying down. Whoa! Up, oh, we are on your side. Let's get out of here. Look like Hoppy Hooper. You remember Hoppy Hooper? Yeah, one of those cool cartoons. Go defeat the wind gates.
here you go. We made it to the final thing. Oh, oh yeah, this looks like the tomahawk thing. And be very careful. Come oh, on, let's fire it up. Come on, baby. Let's see you do it. Come on, baby. Come on, let me see you do it. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, you did it. We did it. We did it. Whoa. <laughs> we finally got the reward to 25,000. Death Mountain. Sure, we're into the last level of the game here. Ninja Darts. Now you have to walk without a horse. Okay. We're doing that as soon as I... As soon as I care. Anyway, I eat it. Whoa. Yeah, falling rocks. You have to very, watch out for those falling rocks. Okay, this is... Let me kill this person up. Let's beat this bad guy up. Whoa. Let's beat this bad guy up and see what happens. Ha! Gotcha, boss. Come on, gotcha, boss. Ha! Okay. And now we just, yeah, we have enough of that. Okay. All the ninja cats. Yeah, three cool cats. And fell in love. Go. I'll find all those ninja buddies. Okay, let's just find these ninja buddies here. Now for the boss fight. Oh, it's not like Elvis. Oh, yes, there's the blue Elvises. And he dies. Man. Finally done with this game. Is this gonna be the last level of the game, or is this gonna be the next level? Oh no, not really. Cayenne River. Batman Joe Bomb Gun 2000. Nope. 
<laughs> Talk to him. Oh, he's just hopping around like the, the cowboy is just hopping around like... Oh yeah, jumping in the water. Oh, he's just trying to swim in the river. River of no return. Yeah, now we gotta get the horse, and the wanted, and there. Go beat the beat the wind games. Oh, he's waiting on a horse. Wow, we just have to do this. Yeah, Let's keep firing. Man, my fingers are about to soar. Wow, you get those little pow items, and yeah, to a wipe off the enemies, wipe off all the bandits. Oh, he's gonna walk in the water. Well, he's just gonna fight this boss fight. Come on! people. Come on. Kill this guy. Yeah. Finally. Finally did it. Wow, well, just finally, finally cleared the screen up. Man. Down to Fort Wingate. Yep, Wingate machine gun. 3,000. Yeah, we're reaching the last level. Well, I guess so. Come on, let me shoot this thing. 
Go. Whoa. Thank goodness for those power blocks. is just keep firing one at a time. Just a little bit bored, a little tired of playing this game. You know, let me give you, I forgot to mention, the controls look absolutely great for a game. For being, yeah, one of the great Capcom games. You know, they did a pretty good, awesome job making this the best Capcom game available to the NES. You know, Capcom, you know, uh, made this game, and you know, like other great classics, they were very good games for, at the time. You know, Capcom made a lot of great games during the 8-bit era. You know, they made Bionic Commando, they made 1943, they made the Mega Man series, they made uh, lots of great classics, you know, great Capcom classics at its best. You know, finally got it into the top. Well, pretty much, I always enjoy these games, they're very... I was, you know, I'm a fan of these games, you know, a fan of Capcom. Well, pretty much the other games are very, very popular at the time. I'm glad to enjoy this game in a very simple way. But this can talk very well with the game, if you know. I keep pressing those buttons. Wow, you have to do this. This is the final boss. Come on, let's get this killer on the road. Come on, let's come on, we fight these. It is here. Come on. Let's fight them. Come on. Let's get the one more down. Here we go. Come on. We did it. We did it. We finally made this game. Oh. Oh yeah, another boss. Oh, we're not done. Oh, we're not done. Wow. Yeah, come on. Let's get that going. Oh, wow. Wow, I just had to just fight this boss. Do this. Don't let him kill myself. Yeah. Come on. What? Feel free to drop in. Whoa. 
Come on, he's just got one light car left. And, come on, let's, yep, he did it. We did it. Finally completed Gunsmoke. Man, I finally done. Bravo, 30,000. Oh, I cannot take it anymore. Gunmen who arrive with the sunset into the town of Hicksville has defeated the Wingate. His braveness and skill has saved his town. Long after the gunman has left the town, people in Hicksville still remembers one brave gunman. Hmm. <clears throat> The beautiful sunset still reminds the people of one brave gunman and how he saved the town of Hicksville. And there you go. He's right on his horse. Like he said, I owe silver. Like the Lone Ranger. And there you go. Finally did it. Finally did it. We made this thing to the end of the game. Man, what did you think about that? Anyways, Gunsmoke, yeah, this is the first time I played Gunsmoke for the NES. And this is one of those Western themed games. Pretty much I always assume that. And, uh, and there's your credits right there for probably like about a minute or so. And then it got says thank and it says thanks to Capcom and Capcom USA and Capcom or whatever this was is in Japan. And then you hit the start button, it takes you back to the title screen, and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Enough, enough of that. Okay, let's get off of this thing. Well, well, what do you think, my friends? Gunsmoke? Well, very good game. It's the first time I played it. I have not played this game before, but this is my first try playing it, because... I've seen the video on uh, Coincheck's playthrough episodes in the past, and I also remember seeing this thing in uh, last week when he did the James and Mike Mondays, when he did a when he did uh, reviewing the um, Gunsmoke. Yeah, it's a pretty good game if you've never played. If you're a Western fan, I would like to play this. And, yeah, you should check this out. It's a pretty tough, challenging game, but it actually has six stages and all. But it has one of, the, one of the pretty good graphics. It has great music and pretty good graphics. And did, you know, Capcom did a pretty good job at the, at the game because it has lots of great games, you know. But this game has unlimited continues, but there is no limited continues in the game, but you only have three lives and then the game ends. You, yeah, but this game, yeah, it gives you a lot of continues. You, you get infinite continues. Like in other games like Castlevania, uh, Section Z all has infinite continu all has infinite continues. There is no limited con yeah, but uh, when the game gets harder, it could get limited continues on there. But only had three continues in the game. But uh, I think in other games. But this one has unlimited continues. As well as I Ghost of Goblin was one of the hardest game on the NES. Has unlimited continues, which I they call as infinite continues. But that's, uh, that's pretty much like the way it used to be, because this is absolutely a very, pretty tough game. I have to say is it's, it's a good game. Gunsmoke, yeah, I always love this game for, for me. Yeah, but this is a game I don't have in my collection. Thank goodness like, for the emulators, I think I got it. I played it for the first time, and I just loved it and enjoyed the game. So I'm just going to tell you one thing about this cover before we end this video up. Yeah, if you have not played Gunsmoke, um, by all means, you should check out this thing. But, so in conclusion, it's a pretty fun game. I think it's it's one of the first games to have a Western theme. But, I always enjoy it if you're a fan of the Westerns, or if, you fan, if you're a fan of the Lone Ranger, Gunsmoke, the, the Gene Autry, and Roy Rogers films. <laughs> you, should, you should go for this game, whatever. And, um, and just, just to tell you by the uh, box art of this game, this is one of the last uh, Capcom games to have a, have a grid background. But like a, a lot of those earlier Capcom titles have the, have the same design background with those little grids on it. But this one, I think it came out in 88, which is probably the last one to use it. Because um, around 1988, 89, um, 
probably around mid '88, uh, Capcom has had to change the box art a bit with a more blue background with the Capcom Game Pack on there it's on top. The first one I think was Legendary Wings was the first game to have an actual a different artwork, but of course has a background with those little blue things. But this was actually a pretty fun game to play. And yeah, state of the art says, like I said on the top, state of the art high resolution graphics. But yeah, Greg, you know, high resolution graphics and state of the art. But um, actually, it's, it's very good. The graphics were great. The music was pretty good. And of course, they had everything that touched up pretty well than the actual port of the arcade. You know, I have never played the arcade version of, of Gunsmoke. But it, yeah, because this was a completely different game, for instance. And uh, I think, yeah, kind of like they did, uh, they did when Capcom took a different direction of making another version, but it's not even a good port on the game because what happened was uh, if you take the original arcade and turn it into a different, totally different game, but yeah, but under the same title, you could take, take Section Z, for example. Section Z was probably one of the games that is actually different than the original arcade. The NES Section Z is completely different than, than the arcade Section Z. But yeah, I played the NES Section Z, which is completely different because it breaks into 59 sections in three areas. Well, that's like, yeah. It's, that's why, because Capcom was making a game, the levels look completely different. Yeah, but I have to tell you, yeah, same title, different levels, different areas, but that's a, kind of like it's a, taking Capcom another direction to, to make another, to make different levels than rather than doing the arcade ones. But Gunsmoke is actually was one example, kind of more like they did a different thing than Section Z does. Well, enough said. And that brings us to the end of the 4 o'clock game. I hope you all enjoy it, and, uh, and thank you for watching, for joining us our playthrough. It's great to be back. I have to do more of these games when we get to the next episode. So I, it's around 11.51. I'm tired. I have to get some sleep right now. And uh, by the way, um, today is actually my birthday, and uh, I know I'm, speaking of, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm 39 years old. There's going to be a couple of changes that are going to be on schedule. Um, there's going to be some schedules here for, to, for this video uh, for an announcement. Just a reminder, this is going to be a, a channel, my channel announcement update. Uh, I know a lot of you have been watching those videos, have been following my channel or anything like that. I know. Yeah, people fan people just giving negative uh, point thumbs down on their videos, but I'm just want to tell you, I know I was I, I did a hard work on this game, so I'll give you in, in all the videos. So I'm gonna give you a couple of like channel announcements here for that for that matter. Um, let's see, uh, I have a schedule to tell you that uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday we'll be doing Chris sings. Yep, I just posted three songs on uh, my channel. Yeah, you can hear me singing. Uh, I, I did three songs uh, last week. During the last week, we had um, two great Al Martino songs, Here in My Heart and Daddy's Little Girl, as well as Release Me, which I think was actually was become a bigger hit by Engelbert Humperdinck. Yeah, you can hear me singing on my channel. But yeah, I am a professional. I'm a good singer because I always becoming... Uh, a user, uh, make go anime videos, as well as uh, showing my collections, as well as the um, singing. Yeah, you know, singing is, would be a great thing. So if you want to do more of my Chris Sings videos, um, probably we'll have more on that in the near future. On probably Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we'll do more of those uh, Chris Sings shows. As, uh, as we get into the early December, I made a lot of those videos, like maybe Christmas songs. That I'm planning on working on that because we have three months from now, October, November, December, we'll do like Chris sings Christmas songs, which we'll work on that later, probably in the next three months, we'll do some songs dedicated to holiday season. And then, you know, we'll do a four o'clock game on uh, maybe on a, on a Thursday. I'm picking, it might be on a Tuesday, whatever. I will be doing 4 o'clock game on Tuesday. Every Tuesday we'll do a, a lot of playthroughs of all the great classic games for, for both NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, 
And we, or whatever you can, I do this like on a Tuesday, we'll do a, a full playthrough of the game. And on Thursday, we'll show you, we'll have no announcement yet. We'll have, uh, we'll have a nightlife show, we'll be on Thursday. We gotta do, what I can go through is gonna be going through some, some of the old videos from my old channel. I will be putting up there, we'll do nightlife classics on Thursday. That's gonna be uh, on the nightlife show. We'll have a new feature of them. We'll have some like videos that are from like 10 years ago, like 10 years older, but probably around that time, like 2008, back when uh, when I did these videos. So I'm just going to show it to you probably when I re-upload some of the videos. And uh, there you go. I just had to say this to everybody, and uh, that's all I can say about that. We'll have a new schedule line up as we we will be doing this. We'll be wrapping up our. Four o'clock game for this uh, this time around, and also I'm, I'm celebrating. I, I'm 39 years old today, and uh, I'm gonna wish everybody a happy birthday. And um, yep, next year I'm getting this is my last of my 30s here because next year 2018 I'm gonna be 40 next year, and uh, I will be still going strong of making these videos. So uh, I don't have anything to slow down my videos, so I just wanted to say to everybody, to uh, wish everybody a happy birthday, and uh, hope you'll come back again in the next episode on the 4 o'clock game, and, uh, and that's it, that's it, I've done, I'll have to be back again on the next episode of the 4 o'clock game, and I hope you all enjoy it, and um, we'll see you again later. Come back again, and we'll play. We'll be back again next time for another great playthrough on the 4 o'clock game. And I will see you then later. Goodbye.